put with the new jurisprudence of election in Nigeria, which the Supreme Court has led to rest uh, by reconfiguring democracy and uh, without landmark judgment, election in Nigeria now means INEC. So if you want to contest election in Nigeria, you have to lobby INEC, you have to go to INEC. That's the decision of the Supreme Court. That INEC, even if they make bylaws regulating election, that they are at will to jettison it even at midnight and declare anybody, and you cannot hold them accountable. So I think uh, politicians should learn this judgment. They should study the judgment and understood that there is a radical departure from what is called elections in Nigeria. So I'm busy trying to study it, and I have been advising those who are interested in elections to campaign in nine offices, try to befriend Professor Mahmoud, because anything outside this, we're not going to get justice. Justice is more or less an enemy in Nigeria. And I think... Uh, that explains the plethora of challenges we have from unemployment, hunger, poverty, insecurity. All this is as a result of the absence of justice. And so we talk about more about peace, forgetting that the justice is the foundation of peace. Uh, therefore, we are here to discuss how people-centered justice mechanism can be developed. We've been brainstorming uh, about some of the theories they brought uh, as to how justice can be made accessible to Nigerians. Uh, but the fundamental question is, how does a poor man in Sabongida village assess justice? with the very expensive profile of the judicial process. How can he assess it? I mean, even in the police that station in my village, well, for you to get bail, you need not the 2003 elections, and 5, the today fireworks, the community is big money. So, of, of course, course, I am armed with the new jurisprudence of election in now, Nigeria. Now, this which the Supreme Court has to led to rest it at the by reconfiguring the democracy will to lead. And, um, because that without the political judgment, will for leadership election in Nigeria, in Nigeria now means INEC nothing. So if you want to contest election in Nigeria, you have to lobby INEC. You have to go to INEC. That's the decision of the Supreme Court. That INEC, even if they make bylaws regulating election, that they are at will to jettison it even at midnight and declare anybody, and you cannot hold them accountable. So I think uh, politicians should learn this judgment. They should study the judgment and understood that there is a radical departure from what is called elections in Nigeria. So I'm busy trying to study it, and I have been advising those who are interested in elections to campaign in INEC offices, try to befriend Professor Mahmoud, because anything outside this, we're not going to get justice.